Welcome to Gospel Share Missions. 4 Fields Discipleship Multiplication Training. Field number 2, The Seeded Field. How to Sow the Seed. In the last lesson, we studied Tool 2, Person House of Peace. Now, this is Tool number 3, The 15 Seconds Testimony, Lesson number 7, and page 10 in your training manual. Because sometimes we are scared to talk about Jesus or to open up our Bible to share a scripture, a great way to get going is to share your story. Now that you identified your person of peace, it is time to sow the seed and we start sharing God's story in our lives. Your personal testimony is very powerful because it demonstrates that God has power to change our lives. It is a story of contrasts between your old life and your new life in Jesus. However, one of the biggest mistakes in sharing our testimony is that we share too much detail and too long. There is power in your story. In your training, ask your participants to get a piece of paper and draw a cross in the center, then an arrow pointing backwards and an arrow pointing forward. Tell them that their testimony is about their life before Christ, the time they came to Jesus, and now in Christ. Ask them to draw two lines on the left, two lines under, and two lines on the right. On the left, ask them to write the phrase, there was a time in my life. On the center they need to write, but one day, and to write and end the right side. Now in Jesus, tell your participants that when they train others, they need to think and write down on the left two words that describe their old life, two words that describe when they converted to Jesus, and two words on the right that describe their current life in Jesus. Here is an example. There was a time in my life when I was insecure and angry. But one day someone told me about Jesus' sacrifice, put my trust in him, and was baptized. Now in Jesus I am secure and full of joy. Do you have a story like this? This last question is very important, as it invites the other person to share his or her own experience. As we sow the seed, know your story, there is power in it. In the book of Acts 22 and 26 we see the Apostle Paul mentioned his conversion. You have a conversion, God is working in your life, and there is power in your 15 seconds testimony. Moreover, remember, keep your story short, this tool is only the door to the next tool, the powerful story that changes lives, the story of Jesus. In your story you look back, you look up, and you look forward. You are training others on how to sow the seed. When you practice this tool in a group, use that last question, do you have a story like this? To pass it along to someone else in the group to practice it, and on and on. God bless you as you prepare to train others with this wonderful tool.